All right, so in the last video, we kind of organized this a little bit. We put the uh, database in another location, uh, the database connection, and we refactor this a little bit. Now let's go ahead and create a query here on this select, so that way we can pull the ID from the database, the IDs that we have for our records here. All right, we only got two right now, and let's do that. Let's go ahead and create that right away. So. So let's go ahead and I'm just gonna comment that out, all right? And the first thing that I wanna do here is create a query, right? As a matter of fact, we have one up here. We can use this right here, all right? And that's it, we can use this because this is gonna select everything from the users. So all we have to do down here is create a while loop to pull all this information out, all right? So let's create a while loop. First, let's go ahead and do the PHP tag, of course. All right. Okay. Let's. This is um. Let's just put this here, and then we can organize it, right? All right. So while, and let's just open the while, and we're gonna say while road, like we learned before, how to read information. And let's make it equal to my SQL. I fetch, and we're gonna say associative array is actually better than. All right. And what do we want to fetch? Result. All right, because that's what we got here. This is the result from the query, right? So let's just copy that, bring it down here. Okay. And I just want to go ahead and use this whole thing there, as a matter of fact. So let's just bring that up here. And I'm going to use it with an echo. All right. Let's do that right here, echo. I'm going to enclose it in apostrophes there. OK. Now we got to take these quotes out of there, because we, got, we, we can't have double quotes inside double quotes. We got to put single quotes. If not, this line, if you put a double quote here, it's going to tell PHP to stop executing here. And then if you put double quotes here, it's going to get confused. It's going to give you an error. So make sure you put single quotes, all right? As you can see, my code changes when I put double quotes. So I edit, my editor is already telling me that something is wrong. All right, so what we want to put here is the row. As, as a matter of fact, I want to make this row. This row is going to return it like in a, an associative uh, field, an associative array. So it's going to return like this, ID. That's how we we can echo it. But I'm going to make sure that this actually turns into. I'm going to create. I'm going to put this in a variable, basically. All right. Put this in a variable. And it's giving me an error here. Let's just check. It's in the unexpected. Of course, I got that. We got that because we don't have a semicolon there. So we are pulling the ID number one. Well, actually, this is ID is not dynamically yet. We're going to do it right now. ID. And make sure you have it here too. ID. So now we're pulling the two IDs from the database. We got one and three. We can create another record just to show you that it does work. So let's just create another record real quick so that way you can see that it's going to do that. So let's go to the create file that we have, the login create, and let's create another record real quick. So that way we can see it there displaying, all right? So this is the login underscore create. I'm just going to create another user. I'm going to call this, I don't know, uh, prince, password princess or something close. I can't see it. <laughs> I'm going to click submit. That already created a record and that's a good sign. We're going to refresh it here just to make sure and we see that we have a new record here. Now we're going to go to that file, the update, not right here, the update. See how that is, but let's just make sure we are here and as you can see here, we have the new ID right here, number five. 
So now we're pulling data directly from the database into this select field here. All right, really cool. All right, and we did this with a while loop. But we have the query up here, so make sure you always have a query. If you don't have a query, you can't pull information from the database. This is a, this is what is actually pulling information, this query right here. And we're using this function to send it in right here with the connection. So make sure that you understand that concept. Now, what I really want to do is actually, I don't like the, this the way it is right now. This is too messy, right? So I want to actually create a function to do this for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all this query out of here. I'm going to take it out. All right. And I'm going back. I'm going to create a new file. Before we before I do that, let's just do it back there. So that way we have it just in case. But let's create a new file and call it uh, functions. And I already have a functions on the regular file folder. So don't, don't get confused. Just make a new functions under my SQL folder. So I'm just going to say new file functions. And if you want, you can name it something else. I'm just going to name it functions.php. All right. And let's open this. And if you don't want to close it, that's fine. Um, PHP knows that, that you want, you know, PHP code after this. So now I'm going to I'm going to paste that query in there from the login update. I'm just going to take this off right here. There we go. So now remember to always include it up here because if you don't include it, um, you won't have the same functionality. So let's include it here. Functions.php. There we go. Now let's actually take this off too here because it's too messy. When when I use a function, so that's what we're going to be doing here. Let's use put this in below here and we're gonna wrap all this code in a function just like we learn how to do functions right this is gonna be a custom functions so what is this going this function going to do because you got to be descriptive with functions that way you can remember this function is gonna find it's gonna pull all the data from the users table so um, data show all data show all data I'm just gonna call it like this all right and let's just wrap it up on the function and now we have this function here all we have to do is call the function from the other side and it should work good it should work perfect let's make sure we save it save this file you can save it there if you want but I did it already with my keyboard I just wanted to show you that I did and let's go to login update here all we have to do is call the function right in between the select here where we had the, the loop. Okay? So that's what I'm going to do. Call the function. Boom. Let's just make sure this is a little bit more organized this way. And we can condense it, condense it a little bit. That looks a lot cleaner, doesn't it? Right? And then we don't have all these files here. What I want, really want to do is actually make this a little more... All right, let's just make it like this. All right, and let's make sure that this include is right here. Perfect. I think this is this looks a lot better like this. All right, so let's go ahead and, and see what's going on in the other side. If we got everything without errors. All right. All right, so we need to get this rid of this. <laughs> All right, so this looks good, but it's not pulling anything out of here. I wonder why, right? Well, let's check. Let's see what happened, all right? So this function here is not pulling the data out of it. So the problem is not here because obviously the function, it's working. We got functions.php there is including it. And what we need to do is we need to include this database on the functions because the functions don't know anything about the database. So let's make sure that we have this database included here. All right. That way we have that information. Another thing that we want to do is we need to make sure that this connection here is global. All right. 
so global connection all right so let's go back to the update and now we're picking up the data now let me explain to you what happened all right so we we created a function in the functions.php but here when we were looking for connection we couldn't find it anywhere because I never included the database the database file which has the connection so it was no way that it was gonna find it was gonna do anything it was just gonna stay there now because I have the connection variable somewhere else even though I'm including it here I need to still set it up as global alright because it's inside this function remember that everything inside the function is in the local scope so nothing gets in the function unless you put it in yourself and the way we put in things like uh, like variables from other places in functions is with a global keyword this would make the variable global right it would bring it in from outside in this case it's gonna be in another file so make sure that you do that okay so anyways I think we did a lot in this in this video here and on the next one I'm going to show you how to create the rest of the query here to when we click update to update the files well the data here in the database all right so anyway thank you so much for watching hopefully you were able to understand what we did if not just rewind the video it's super easy what we did all right all right thank you so much and I'll see you in the next lecture